Hello, everybody. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. Happy Monday to everyone. I hope everyone has a great day. If you're seeing this later in your day over on the other side of the world, I hope you guys had a great day. So this is going to be a general energy reading for today, Monday, February 4th. Uh, it's not specific to anything. This is not love specific, science specific, gender, what, gender specific, sure. It's not gender specific. It's all just about the energy. Yeah. This is whatever spirit wants to discuss with us today. So, uh, just, if you didn't catch it in the twin flame reading yesterday, I am running a sale throughout February. All mirror readings are 20% off. You can use that to see where you are in relation to where someone else is in uh, terms of like say your, your relationship in terms of a connection um, it you could look you could use it as like a twin flame mirror you could use it to see where you are in relation to the divine masculine and divine feminine energies within a mirror reading is not just for twin flames it is quite flexible so if you'd like to get one go ahead and email me uh, my email is in the description box below I believe that's it so let's get started Ooh boy. All right, daily reading for Monday, February 4th. Oh, also, this uh, energies are fluid, okay? So this doesn't have to be something that happens today. It could be something that's coming down the pipeline. It could just be a general thing. It could be something that you went through already, all right? So, because it's a general reading, just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Monday, February 4th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. <laughs> all right. Let's give this a few shuffles and see what we got. Just a bit of a heads up. Monday's, Monday's videos may be out a little later than normal. Um, it is like 7.30 as of the time that I'm recording this. Um, it's mainly because of bowling on, Wednesday, on Sundays, which can turn out to be a late night because then we all hang out. Which is fun, but that's just a heads up, so you guys know. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. Monday, February 4th. One more shuffle, says Spirit. That card is so wonky. There's this one card in here that's like super warped. Ugh, that's what happens when you use your cards often, kids. <laughs> All right. Sip some coffee. Some coffee. Mm. Yes, I am drinking coffee today. Just because I feel like it. <laughs> Here we go. Monday, February 4th, 2019. Best messages, please, Spirit. What you got for us? The Knight of Wands. Okay. Ooh. Is that, that Spirit says that is it for the day. All right. Well, that's not much. It's just three cards. But here, oh, oh, oh boy, oh boy, we have, ooh, okay. We've got the emperor underneath the deck. And then we've got the knight of wands, the two of wands, and the lovers. Hmm. All right, so there's definitely a decision that is needing to be made here for some of you. For, well, yeah, for some of you. For, for okay, well, every for most of the, the situation, but it varies in... Um, okay, it varies person to person, but there is a decision to made, be made here. For some of you, there is someone that has come into your life recently and he's the Knight of Wands here. Um, passionate, fiery, probably um, got a little bit of that lustful feeling going on, you might have that as well. That 
that feeling. Like you might be feeling pretty lustful, whatnot. It's a connection though with the lovers. There's just, there's so much about choice here between the lovers and the two of wands. Now for others of you, there is a choice that needs to be made in the form of whether or not you want to st stay with your divine masculine or not. Now, uh, now either you have the choice to make or this person has the choice, this other person has the choice to make. Okay, so from the point of view of this emperor here, this person that has come into your life, there is a, there is a decision that they need to make as well. And it's most likely going to be between two lovers, two people. That's the choice that I'm seeing here with the two of wands and the lovers. But there's something that's pretty sexual in nature. So it really might be someone new that's come into your life. Now, if it is someone new that's come into your life, um, what I'm getting is that you're needing to make a choice as to how you want to handle. Do you want to pursue this? Do you want to see this long term? Or is this just a fling? It doesn't matter either way. It's just you have to decide what, you, what it is that you want. But this is someone that's probably pretty stable, very stable uh, with the emperor. A masculine energy for sure. And it doesn't mean that they're a man or a woman. It's just that's, a, that's the energy here. We're talking about energy, not gender, okay? I do feel like... Hmm. I was going to say, I feel like I should pull some more, but now Spirit's saying it's not necessary. You got all you need right here. Okay. There could be some divine masculines out there that are really facing a choice right now. And it, it's, it, it's not like this choice hasn't been there before. It's just, I fe it feels like they're really like facing it at the moment. Where do their passions lie? Where would they be most happy? That is, yeah, okay. See, now as I'm going down that path, it's kind of opening up. For some, for some out there, this could be the divine masculine. This could be you um, in, you know, you embodying more of your masculine energy. But someone is really defining where their passions lie here. As the emperor, it's like they're taking a look at their lives from a logical point of view, from the master of, from the point of view as the master of their domain. Who is truly a good fit for me is the question I just, I just heard. Who is truly a good fit? Who makes me happy? Who gives me the world? Because you see this, this person here on the Two of Wands has this globe in their hand. Now, this is not to say that they're necessarily going to make any moves all that quickly. But these are the questions that one is starting to ask in some cases. Now, in other cases, like I said, there is someone that's recently come into your life. They may have a decision to make. They may be at a crossroads. For some, for some this new person that has come into your life is actually, they, they have... <clears throat> a relationship. I'm not trying to say that they're like cheating or they're stepping out, but I don't feel like that relationship, if they are in, already in a relationship, I don't feel like it's um, satisfying to them. And I'm not saying that, you know, they've cheated or that, you know, <laughs> you're a homewrecker in any case, in a, in a sense, if that resonates with you, but they've met you and now there's, there, now an interest is peaked here. Okay. For some of you, this could be happening. But I don't want you walking around thinking that every person that comes up to you is, you know, already in a relationship. Don't even think about it that way. Because like I said, I don't feel like this is a situation in which they've cheated. It doesn't feel like that. It's just that you've crossed paths, you've connected somehow, and 
and it actually it could be for some of you that you've been connecting for some time. You know, you've been in each other's vicinity, that sort of thing. There is definitely a decision to be made here for quite a few people, I want to say. Hmm. All right. I want to, this is, well, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> um, let's get some clarification here. And to clarify, I am using the Epic Tarot. This deck here, this is the Moonchild Tarot. I know some people, someone had asked, I don't think, I don't remember if I had answered the question, but this is the Moonchild Tarot. And you can just, you'll find it, just Google the Moonchild Tarot. Here, look. Let's see. There. Can you read, is that, that might be backwards. I think that might be backwards, but it's the Moonchild Tarot. <laughs> and this is the front of the book. It doesn't really have the words there. It's a gorgeous deck. I love it. I absolutely love it. But this epic tarot here is available at Om Shanti Bookshop, where I do readings in person every Friday. Um, and they do take online orders. So the link to their website is in the description box below. Yeah, check them out. They're fantastic. And come see me on a Friday. Yay, Friday. <laughs> All right, we're going to start with the Knight of Wands here. We're going to give it one more shuffle. And then we're going to clarify this Knight of Wands. I, I get really a really good feeling from this. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, I get a really good feeling from this Emperor energy. I just want to say... Um, and this does, and, I, I, and also I want to clarify, this doesn't, do, they don't necessarily have to be in another relationship, but there's definitely some sort of life circumstance that, that they need to make some decision about, okay? Now, I was called to look underneath the deck because we're, and we're, and we're clarifying the Knight of Wands, and what do we have but none other than the Knight of Wands? In this deck, the Knights are Griffins. Pages are unicorns, queens are uh, uh, phoenixes, and the kings are dragons. But we have the knight of wands already underneath the deck. That's pretty funny. There's a lot of lustful energy here, I'm not going to lie. And for some, this might just be a sexual connection. But you never know, it could turn into more. If you're willing to explore that, go ahead. If you're not, don't worry about it. That could be the choice you have to make right now. Okay? It could be for a lot, for often, or for some of you, it could just be the choice of letting someone in. There might be someone that's kind of knocking on your door and you're kind of like, no, leave me alone. <laughs> for fear of it's just a one night stand and you're not open to that. So that's totally fine. But let's see if we can get some more clarification. On this night, we have the three of wands in reverse. Oof. Okay. Okay. Underneath the deck is the Three of Pentacles. All right. We've got the Three of Wands and the Seven of Wands in reverse. We've got the Ten of Swords. Oof. We've got the Queen of Swords in reverse. Wow. We've got the Seven of Swords and we've got the Eight of Wands. Wow. Good Lord. Okay. Wow. Um, I don't even know where to start with this. So we have the Seven of Wands and the Three of Wands in reverse. In this deck, wands are books. Okay. Books symbolize wands, whatnot, whatever. And then we have the Eight of Wands. Okay, so what I'm getting here is there, there's a bit of a lack of, or not a lack, a, um, how do I say this? Defenses are coming down somehow. For some of you, 
you've been on a path for a while. With the three of wands in reverse, you've been on a certain path for quite a while. And it's like you've been guarded. You've had barriers up. You've had, what is the word I'm looking for? Why is it not coming through? I've been, we've been talking about this all week. Boundaries. There it is. Good Lord. <laughs> you've had defenses or boundaries up for some time. You've been guarded against meeting someone new other than this person that you've been on this path with for some time. And those boundaries are now starting to fall away, okay? And you're becoming open to communicating with somebody, talking to somebody, meeting someone new. And if you're not in this state, you're being asked to. It's being suggested. You don't have to be, it doesn't have to, well, first of all, it doesn't have to happen overnight. This is not something that you just, you have to be like, okay, well, I'm back in the game. Like, if you need some time, take some time. But this is, mm-hmm, okay. You have the Seven of Swords here. So there is a bit of deception in terms of letting someone in. Your ego is getting in the way here because you have the Ten of Swords with the Queen of Swords in reverse. That's not so fun, the Queen of Swords being in reverse. This is illogical, irrational. Whatever journey you have been on, and I'm not going to throw a label on it because this is not specific to anything. This really could be for anybody. But whatever journey you've been on, there, there are some aspects that now need to be let go of. Because ultimately, it was a lesson. It was just meant to teach you. It was just meant to heal, to help you heal, show you places that you could heal. But it, so for some, it's turned into, okay, Spirit said a pity party for some. Um, it's turned into a way to be angry with the world. When in reality, we're, we're here. Look, self-mastery, three of pentacles. Okay. This, the Three of Pentacles is also talking about teamwork. Some of you are jaded. And, ah, okay. First, yeah, there's, I'm, seeing, I'm seeing another side to this now. Um, some of you are quite jaded. And you need, to rem you need to keep in mind that whatever you've been through, it's already come to an end with the Ten of Swords. It's done. It's over with. You don't have to keep replaying the same thoughts in your head here with the Queen of Swords and the Seven of Swords. The Queen of Swords is in reverse and the Seven of Swords is upright. That's, this is like self, this is a lot of self-deception right now. Your mind is running away with you a little bit and now you're over, you, you're, 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 you've got boundaries up that in some cases really aren't even necessary. And you're not work. You're not willing to work towards anything any longer. You're not willing to. Um, it's not that you're not willing to work towards anything because I because it's like okay, well, but I'm I'm still like working. I'm still doing my thing. But I mean, like in a partnership aspect, there's a lot of jading happening here, or there's a j lot of jadedness happening, or that has is coming into play for a lot of us now in the other set in, in, in other situations in other situations it's not so bad some of you are wanting to connect now that this situation is done the ten of swords some of you are wanting to connect here there are some fears that might be getting in your way there might be some overly logical aspects that might be getting in your way with this queen of swords in reverse and the seven of swords this also could be this other person could be extremely logical especially since with this ten of swords here i feel like somebody is coming out of a really rough situation but that they're but they're not willing to put in the time and the effort into that situation any longer with the three of wands in reverse seven of wands in reverse the blockage towards something new is coming down and then you have the eight of wands in which you have communication here okay 
OK, so now, wow, this is interesting. OK, let's get into this two of wands here then. Please, spirit, please clarify two of wands. Ten of wands. OK, yeah, see? All right. Eight of cups. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that. Underneath the deck is the High Priestess. You've got now the King of Pentacles, oh shit, the King of Pentacles, the Lovers, the Six of Cups in Reverse, the Eight of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. You have the, this is the King here, big old dragon, with the Lovers. This is someone, someone, there is a decision that needs to be made here, obviously. All right. Um, yeah, there is definitely an energy of leaving the past behind. Six of Wands in reverse. Eight of Cups. Ten of Wands. I'm sorry, Six of Cups in reverse. Not Six of Wands. Six of Cups in reverse. Ten of Wands. Eight of Wands. Someone is definitely walking away. And it's like you're moving towards... You're moving, to, like I said, you're moving towards someone that's super stable, King of Pentacles. And it's funny because I was look, when I was thinking about the Emperor, when I was channeling the energies of this Emperor card, I was feeling King of Pentacles energy, which is why I was saying this person is very stable. Or there could be someone coming into your life that's very stable. And in order for that to happen, you're needing to release the past, let go of the past. Let it be that, just leave it behind you and move forward. But, and that is where, you see, that is where some of this energy is coming into play. Queen of Swords in reverse with the Seven of Swords upright. You're needing to leave the past behind you and not think that it's just going to be recreated in the future. Not be jaded. There is so much jaded energy with this. Queen of Swords and the Seven of Swords. Okay? But whatever it is, you're leaving a bunch of burden behind <laughs> with the Ten of Wands here. This situation, whatever it was for you, I mean, this could have been a soulmate situation. It could have even really, it honestly could be, you could be leaving a marriage behind. But it might be something that you needed to leave behind for some time. For some of you. Maybe it was just a long-term soulmate situation. I mean, also, yeah, you could be talking Twin Flames, but this is not specific to anybody, okay? This is a general reading, so I don't necessarily want to put those labels on it, but boop, there it is. <laughs> All right, so now I want to, oh, the High Priestess um, is about intuition, is about secrets. It, uh, it's about secrets, but in this case, it's about the unknown hidden energies, right? Also, I'm being, this is another two here. Balance. There is a need, uh, yeah, the high priestess is calling for balance here. Using your intuition to balance things out. All right. Um, the lovers. Let's let's clarify this lovers card here. Mm, 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 the Ace of Wands. Oh Lord in heaven! Wow! <laughs> wow! Okay. Underneath the deck, you have the Queen of Wands. So you very much manifested this. And I'm kind of, I'm, I'm freaking out a little bit because you have the Ace of Wands or the Ace of Books. In this deck, this really talks to me about, this is the Wands symbolizes books. So this is like, this is the new book that you're starting to write for your life. The new story the new chapter, if you will. That did fall out here, but it fell out here because 
on the six of cups in reverse, the ten of wands, the eight of cups, the lovers, and the king of pentacles, which are all clarifying this two of wands here. Because yes, you're starting a new book. You're starting a new chapter. You've got... You have the magician in reverse and the six of swords in reverse. Okay? But then you also have the two of cups. I'm um I'm working on deciphering this magician energy here. The magician in reverse with the six of swords in reverse, but then you have the two of cups. Okay, there's been quite a deal of healing that has happened here. Oh, wow. All right. So Wow, this is very interesting. So not manifesting the way you have in the past, not going for the same situation you have in the past has allowed you to heal. You've done some mental healing here. Okay, this is, this is this, you could take this one of two ways. Either you have done this healing and you're no longer manifesting what you have in the past and now you have some sort of relationship coming forward or some of you are blocking it with this Queen of Swords in reverse energy and the Seven of Swords. You're actively blocking your manifestation because you're not moving forward mentally. You're staying in the same place with this jaded energy that I'm feeling. But yet, you have the Two of Cups on the lovers. Definitely a soulmate situation for some of you. The lovers did come out twice here. It came out in the in the main deck, and now it's coming. It came out as a clarifier on the two of wands, and now you have the two of cups on the lovers. For some of you, this isn't so bad, but for other, I mean, this is a general reading, so take it as it resonates. And then you've got the queen of wands here. This is confidence. This is um, beauty. This is social social butterfly energy. This is magnetism. What this is saying to me is you actively manifested this or you are manifesting it. And yet, in opposition to that, for some of you, you have this magician in reverse. For some of you, this could be an energy of not wanting to manipulate, not wanting to be manipulated, moving away. Like I said, for some of you, this is successfully moving away from some sort of manipulative energy or um, manifesting some, or at least trying to manifest some old situation. Like you've successfully moved on. And now because of that, you have some sort of bond coming through. Two of cups, okay? Huh. Well, all right. Um, I'm going to start with the animal spirit guides, and then I'm going to close the reading with uh, oracle, uh, guidance from the unicorns. Yes? <laughs> All right. Here we go, guys. Best message, please, spirit. There it is. Elk. My, my, my. Lots of masculine energy coming through here. Oh, Otter is underneath the deck, which talks about needing to have fun, be playful. Look, this doesn't even really need to be anything serious, especially with this Knight of Wands energy. It doesn't have to be serious. You know, start out as friends. I mean... It doesn't have to it doesn't have to be serious right away and I think that might be what some of you are afraid of and so the message there is just to have fun with it go with the flow see what happens okay elk mm hmm stable resilient headstrong the father or in other words this you could say this is like the the, the emperor card of the animal spirit deck and you have the emperor right here 
The great elk represents the earth element in its masculine form. This means it provides underlying support and stability amidst life's many changes. An elk personality, whether male or female, is fully established in themselves and knows their core values. They become known and respected for acting in ways that uphold these values. Sometimes the elk's ego can become inflated, but for the most part, they make damn good fathers, mothers, lovers, and friends. The world needs more elk energy. And it's very much a king of pentacles energy as well. Okay? So for some of you, there is really, there's a really stable person coming into your life that's trying to make an entrance. And you might be deceiving yourself against it. Uh, when in balance, elk is supportive, kind, and consistent. When out of balance, elk is pretentious and high and mighty. To bring into balance, one must eat and drink more consciously. I also want to say, keep in mind that this could be you. Um, this could be you. You could be this person here. You absolutely could be this person, this emperor energy. You could definitely be coming more into a, a more balanced state of masculine energy. Okay. So let's get some oracle guidance now from the unicorns just to see how do we, how do we approach this situation? We might want to pull some whispers of love too. I might do that, but I want to start with the, with the unicorns here, just some guidance on how to approach this situation. Oh, okay. Well, we have, Goddess here, honor your divine feminine energy. See your inner beauty. Love every part of you. This to me is also, it also says, I want to pull one more, but this says to me that, you know, it's this jaded energy. Don't allow yourself to be jaded because you're only blocking yourself off from the situation. One more card, please, spirit. There it is. Friendship. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, passion is underneath the deck. And with all the wands that have come out here, yeah, that makes perfect sense. But friendship. Seek out your soul family. Surround yourself with positive people. Spend more time socializing. Like I said, this doesn't have to be anything serious. It can just be a friendship to start off with. Okay. I'm just going to pull a little bit from the Whispers of Love here. This is for those of you that are having trouble opening your heart to this or any situation. This doesn't have to be that actually someone is coming in. This could just be you needing to face the fat, face whether the possibility of someone might be coming in. One more shuffle. All right. <laughs> Best messages in terms of closed heart syndrome, said spirit. Okay, closed heart syndrome, spirit. How do we handle this? How do we handle this? Uh, all right. Underneath the deck you have, ooh, look at your pattern in relationships. It requires inner strength to recognize you need to change or modify your behavior. Because you see, it's not always all the other person. Relationships are a two-way street, all right? But then finally, you have card number 11, guys. 11, and it says, look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. I think traffic is agreeing with me. <laughs> you are stronger than you realize. All right, guys, so there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. And I hope you all have a great day. And I am planning on doing happy hour tonight. So I will see you guys around 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yeah? Much love. Have a great day. Bye.